So, Claire Thomas, first of all, welcome to Coventry. Thank you. How has it been the past couple of weeks? Because it's kind of been a whirlwind. You got signed and then straight into action against Lewis and then pretty much starting the next two games. Yeah, I mean, I've been enjoying it. Um, everyone's been welcoming from players and staff. Um, and it's nice to be uh, playing, you know, getting some minutes straight away. Uh, but yeah, I'm really enjoying my time here so far. So tell us a little bit, for people who might not be familiar with you, tell us a little bit about your journey career-wise so far. Um, for me, I was at um, Leicester for about three seasons, since I was about 15, 16. Um, and then this season I went to Nottingham Forest uh, for about two months and then Cov come in uh, with an opportunity and I couldn't really say no. And coming into Coventry, you know, coming into a team, how do you, what do you feel you can add to the team? Because you're very much kind of an all-action player. You like to get on the ball. Jay said you like to get forward. You're always forward-looking, and we've seen that particularly against Durham. Yeah, um, I mean, I'd count myself as an attacking player um, in some aspects. I think I can play any position really, midfield-wise. Um, but yeah, I think I'd like to add a bit of like you know, flair, creativeness where I can. Um, and yeah, like you said before. Um, I do enjoy getting forward and getting in and around the box when I can. And you got a grandstand view of Rio Hardy's goal against Durham as well, because you were charging up supporting that. One of the first players to jump in and celebrate. What was it? What was it like as a new player coming into that team? Did you feel kind of the joy of that first win as much as everybody else? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, for getting that win, it was great. I mean, you could already feel like everybody was buzzing with it. Um, can I start again on that? Yeah, just keep going. Right, and say, say that again, sorry. So, yeah, so I had be, so I'll, many I'll, things I wanted to say yeah. then, I was like, which I'll one should I say I'll rephrase the question because it was a really long shit question, so I'll be like... It's alright. So against Durham as well, you had a grandstand view of Rio's winning goal. One of the first players to get up to celebrate. The team really looked like they enjoyed it. What was it like being part of that? Um, it was great. Um, I think over the past few weeks as a collective, we've been building off a bit of momentum. Um, and it's nice to get that win against a good side. Um, yeah, it was brilliant. And then now we just keep pushing. I think we can. We know we can beat Durham. We can beat any team in this league. So yeah. And this and this week as well, big week. Two games against Watford in the FA Cup, and then Tottenham around midweek. Are these kinds of weeks you as a player live for? You know, three high-profile games in a row. Yeah, of course. I mean, what player doesn't like playing like three games in one week? Um, yeah, it's exciting. I think everybody's excited for it. And I think we know that we can get some results from it as well. Um, we've been working hard in training. So if we put that into practice, then I'm sure we'll get some good results. And looking forward for the rest of the season, what are your personal goals for the rest of the season? Um, for me, you know, being back in a full-time environment, um, securing that for me is a personal goal already. Um, I wasn't expecting to be in it so quickly. Um, again, um, but yeah, just establish myself a bit more in the team and you know, really push together and help the team get results. Thanks, Freya, and the best of luck this week.